This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Video. Hey guys, Jannik here for Cinecam.net and welcome to another Copycat Friday. It's a series where we recreate effects from famous movies and music videos. As you all know, we are huge fans of Zai King and follow him since his Vine times. He is a great inspiration to us and helped us learn that you can achieve much through some clever thinking. And that's why we want to share our Zai King knowledge with you. Clever thinking? Now that is one of my specialities. Follow me, guys. Oh wait, let's do this the Zach King style. Oh snap, guys! Something went wrong. Uh, you probably don't want to see a naked guy right now. I see that people are leaving the video. Quickly, pull up a screencast of Storyblocks video, which is today's sponsor. If you're looking for another naked guy, well, you could probably find also a naked guy in there. But anything else, you can find it on Storyblocks. So just high quality 4K stock clips or After Effects templates, transitions, overlay effects, SVOs, backgrounds, and so much more. And the cool thing is that there's only a single price per year, which allows you to download unlimited video assets for an entire year. Oh, snap, it's back on me. Uh, guys, click the first link in the description below to go to Storyblocks video definitely make sure to check it out Janik you can start now to start let's have a look at some videos from him for example this chicken video when analyzing the video we can already see his basic principle of creating an effect the first thing you want to do is keep it simple Zai King doesn't use heavy effects or extra CGI. No, he likes it simple, but clever. A year back, we recreated the chicken video and I learned that Jordi and I weren't the biggest fans of chickens. But we also learned the power of simplicity. This video of me opening up an egg to reveal a chicken is nothing more than a green screen and an animated scale. Like I said, super simple. Now for the next Zai King wisdom, let's look at a different video of him. Oh, this one. This one with the cap. Here you can see Zack lifting up a cap to place it somewhere else. A very impossible trick, but again, done in a way it's easy for everyone. We recreated this video a year ago, and if we again do a breakdown for our video, you can see that the key here is masking and layering your shots. The entire sketch consists out of four shots. The empty background, so you always have a clean plate, two driving shots, and the actor doing all his movements. Now in post-production, you layer all the shots in the right order above each other and then just mask out the right parts. By doing this, you will composite a scene where it's possible to lift up a car, turn it around and then placing it back on the road. But masking will also give you other possibilities, like here, where Jordi tries to get a ride without asking nicely. With some masking skills, he can just jump into any car he likes. Thank you, Zai King, for saving us the gas money. Another trick Zai King uses a lot is the cut. Yes, a simple cut. With some preparation and good timing, you can really achieve a lot with a simple cut. Like you can see, Zai King has a lot of videos where he creates a fun effect with a cut. We even did a video about his cutting technique. Yeah, I know, maybe we like him a bit too much. In this video, we copy money on our laptop. But how do we do it? By sitting really still but mostly by doing a movement twice and adding a cut in those movements. Making a fast movement will kind of hide the cut. However, you really need to sit still in between those movements. Otherwise, you'll get a jump cut or the effect won't work. So these three tricks are mostly the main component of Zack King's videos. Maybe one bonus trick is that he uses handheld motion on every video. This really helps to sell the effect and will even hide small mistakes. But this handheld motion is added afterwards most of the time. So he first films on a tripod and then in post-production adds a handheld preset. Again, something he does to make it easier. Now, I'm not claiming that Zack King is purely simple effects with masks and a cut. He also has effects that blow our minds and keep us wondering how we did it. A good example for this is his latest video. Here you can see Zack painting some Banksy drawings on the wall, but afterwards using these drawings to escape from the police. An effect done so perfect, we needed a whole day to figure out how he did it. And believe me, it's a ton of work. YouTuber Atom actually made an amazing breakdown of the video. Okay, now that we have all the knowledge about Zack King's tricks, we can put them to the test. Let's create this cool coffee effect from him, specially chosen because Jordi really likes coffee. For this effect, we are going to need three shots. The first shot is where you play your part and pretend to squeeze some coffee out of an object and end in a heavy movement. What you then want to do for the second shot is stand really still while someone else pours the coffee into the cup. 
With the third and last shot, you start again with the same heavy movement as you ended the first shot. After the movement, you can then play out your scene. Shoot all these three shots in one long take on a tripod, so you won't have any jumping objects or jump cuts. Now in Premiere Pro, you can play shot 1 on the second track and make a cut in the movement on the end. Then play the third shot also on the second track and again add a cut in the movement in the beginning. You can then place them against each other and they already match. The cutting technique works perfectly. Now let's add the masks. Place the second shot on the first track below everything. Look for the point where the pouring starts and sync that with the actor squeezing. Now select a shot of the actor and let's create a mask with the pen tool. Start by masking the bottom of the actor's hand and this can be really precise. When you have done this, you can mask towards the coffee cup and go around it. This can be really rough. Now just check the invert option and then the only thing you have to do is animate the mask. Let it follow your hand and this until the cut we made between the actor's shots. And that was really it for the simple effect. We used every Zack King trick we explained. Using a cut? Check. Masked for a few hours? Check. Was it simple? Definitely check. We can even add the bonus handheld trick if you want. And this all will give you this cool effect. Oh! <laughs> coffee! I like some coffee. You know what they say? Nespresso? What else? <laughs> what else? Right? Come on. Come on. Jordi, what are you doing? I'm trying to make some coffee here, but the coffee machine just won't work. I know a solution, Jordi. Really? Yeah, let me try. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Okay. Uh, Janik! Yeah. Oh, look at Janik. that! Janik! That's amazing! It's, uh, I spilled a little bit, but... Yeah, I see. But it's I'm coffee. Just, I'm super happy that I got uh, coffee. coffee. <laughs> hey. I swear I got coffee. Jordi is so strange when he needs his coffee. But this was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And like always, stay creative. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? I never watched. I told you guys to stop me whenever I got a stupid idea. I didn't expect <laughs> this. No.